Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy! Hi, I thought I'd do a quick lesson on the free transform tool that's located up here in the toolbar. It's a pretty versatile tool. There's lots that you can do with it. If you select your object using the free transform tool, you'll get all these squares around the edge of your object. They can be used to do different things. If you grab a corner one, you can do scale. If you hold down shift, that'll keep it in uh, uniform scaling so that it stays the same sort of shape. If you grab one of the top blocks here, you can scale it vertically, so you can squish it down like so. And if you hold down alt, it'll squish both sides at the same time. That works exactly the same for the horizontal ones, like that, holding down Alt, or without Alt, just stretch one side. If we uh, zoom in a little bit, if I hover over the corners here, you can see if I'm over the block, I get a scale themed cursor, but if I hover just around the block, I get this sort of curved cursor, and that represents rotation. If I click when I've got that cursor, I can turn my object around, just freely rotate it like that. If we want to just scale or just rotate there are some tools for that. When you've got your free transform tool selected you can go down to uh, you'll get these options here. One says rotate and skew and the other says scale. So if we click rotate and skew what that'll do is it'll limit our control over this object to just rotation and skew which I haven't shown you yet so I'll show you some skew. To get skewing, you need to hover over not one of the blocks or one of the corners, but one of the actual lines, like this black one here. You can see that you get this, quite hard to see, uh, you get this sort of two-ended arrow, and that's skewing. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let's skew this. There we go. That's skewing along the top. If we undo that. And skew along the side. That's skewing along the side. If we go over to the toolbar again, you see uh, we've limited it to rotate and skew. Let's limit it to scale now. I'll click on that. So you'll see we can scale it either uniformly or not, depending on whether we're holding down shift. But we haven't got any access to skew or rotation. So these tools are just a way of simplifying how many options you have floating around the edge of your object. Next up, let's take a look at distort. This is really good for doing perspective and isometric drawing. So you'll see when we hover over our corners, we get a white cursor like that. That represents distortion. So if I grab one of my edges and shove it down, you can see that it starts to distort it like so. If I want to get a perspective effect, I can hold down shift and shove both corners down at once, or distort both corners, I should say. If I zoom in, you'll see that I get that white arrow normally. If I hold down shift, it shows me that it's going to edit both corners. And here we can exaggerate that effect by holding down shift and pulling out these corners here. You also have control over the sides, so I can pull them over like that and distort those. And you start getting some really quite bizarre shapes. But this would be really good for using, say, shape tweens and creating something uh, in 3D space or using perspective. Last of all, I'm going to show you this, the envelope option. This is a really cool tool for fine tuning your shapes. You'll see that when I've got envelope selected, I get lots of little uh, bezier handles or anchor points around the edge of my shape. So I can pull out this one. You see I've got some bezier handles there that I can pull out to warp the shape equally with this one, I can pull that out, change my shape, I can maybe make one side really long. And if this is baffling you, you should check out my tutorial on Bezier handles. But you see, there we go, just kind of warping my shape there, like that. You can get some really interesting shapes using this tool. So there you go, that's a free transform tool. Have a go yourself, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, 
If you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hexjibba Colouring and Activity Book on my website, hexjibba.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike, and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com, and WH Smiths. Cheers.